This series is about the things you can do it yourself to achieve a clutter-free, functional, and at the same time stylish and cozy home on a budget. Sometimes all it takes is a small change to make the space feel like home. Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to share with you some tips on how to upgrade your kitchen on a limited budget. So this is my in-law's family condo where my sister-in-law and brother-in-law currently lives in. The condo needs a little help so me and my husband offered to make over their space. Today's episode will be the kitchen. Stay tuned for the other rooms on the next episodes. The unit originally comes with a standard small kitchen. They had it extended on both sides to add more counter space, upper cabinets for more storage. The kitchen was perfectly fine. However, as years passed, it became a little bit cluttered and less functional. So my husband and I took over to give this kitchen a little refresh with only 10,000 peso as our budget. Here's my plan for their space. We're going to utilize this corner and create this into an appliance nook to free out the counter space. Next is we're going to add a shelf on this wall to create more space for the condiments and bowls. As much as possible, we're going to avoid putting stuff in the counter since we only have limited space for prepping. Then, we're also going to paint the lower cabinets dark gray with new gold handles. So why dark gray? Since we're not replacing the cabinet doors, the dark color will make these new and original doors blend nicely together. You'll not even notice that these doors have different designs. Lastly, we're going to clean out, declutter, and accessorize the space to make it more interesting. So for the DIY, we're going to paint the lower cabinets, install shelves, add peel and stick backsplash, and add window frosted film to upper cabinets. I like this shelving unit because it's very flexible. You can move the shelves however you want, so it's perfect in this corner. In this area, we needed a very long with only about 5 to 6 inch deep wood. So we went to our local hardware store and got this 5 inch deep wood and had it pre-cut. We also bought some brackets stain and varnish to seal the wood. The original cabinets were laminated so we need to sand it first to roughen the surface so the paint will stick well. 
If you're painting laminated wood, I suggest to use an oil-based paint or an oil-based primer first so it sticks properly with the wood. After that, you can use any paint of your liking. I have researched high and low for the perfect peel and stick backsplash. I wanted to have a little pop of color that will still complement the overall vibe of the space. If you have been following along, you know that I love using the peel and stick backsplash from Styles, but they have been out of stock lately. Yung short o kuan mga no, tulo para mag-add pa ko sa taas para inani ang last yung ends deletion na nagkangan ako gamay and there is a gamay I honestly had a hard time thinking on what to do with these open cabinets. I love the design and how convenient it is to see all the stuff inside without having to open it. However, if you store all your pantry supplies in an open shelving or cabinets, it tends to get really cluttered easily. Instead of spending a ton of money buying all the matching containers, I thought I could just cover this up with a frosted film just to somehow make this less cluttered. It's also very inexpensive and easy to install, so if ever they want it open, they can just take this off easily.
I hope you find this video helpful and if you do, like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.